hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> on my way to uh, do an interview with Josh on training then so or vice versa train first then I'll get a quick chat with Josh and see how it's all going down there uh, probably just a news about Josh Wannington going to match on uh, I would have liked to have sent some of it Nick Manners is a good friend of mine, he's in Josh Wanneton's team and it's their business isn't it? But I tell you what, Eddie Earn's got some front on it. Oh my god. Got some front. You see that's it with Mash Match on the ice cold aren't they? Maybe other promoters should be like that, but somebody leaves you, goes to Frank Warren. And you take them back. I don't get that. Would Dennis take Jamie McDonald back? I don't know. I hope not. I think he's a good fighter, but maybe that's where I go wrong, isn't it? Maybe I'm too soft with this boxing game. Maybe me pointing it out, maybe that's just how it's always been. I don't know. It's interesting. But it's like a drug, isn't it? I mean, imagine if I weren't doing this, we sat in a porter cabin frozen or waiting for people to come to view something in a car and then they don't come. So I'm doing this. I'd be just, I don't know, I'd probably implode when I. So it's a message to all them out there that want to stop my channel. Put me out of misery. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. Having a bit of fun. It's only bands. It's only bands. A late one last night. I think my head's all over these days. I've been watching these World War II films. I'm starting to like them pilot bomber jackets that they have. I like them. They're expensive though, aren't they, for a nice one? The thing about coats lately. Cold, isn't it? Out in sail. Out in sail, I laugh. I'm not one of them people that goes out and buys a, a, jar, of, a jar of coffee off some day. I have to take 20. I think I've got issues. Oh, look at this! Traffic! I hate this Clifton Hill. What time is it now? Five past. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Jimmy, I'm filming. Uh, I'll give you a ring when I when I take camera off. Yeah. All right. So it's only a week to go now for Josh Whale. Uh, his training's going well. I speak to his dad every day. Good, good people. Good people. And uh, looking well. Get this, get this, get this fight out of the way. Get a win, and then see where we're going. See where we, where we can take it to. I know people might think I'm crazy saying this, but Josh Whale will rob one for a European title, so he's Euro level. So we know where that is, don't we? Can he go above that? Well, let's see if he can build to that. But uh, some of them emails people keep going on about. Look, if I've got an opinion to give about Josh, I'll give it. But what how can you knock a kid is going into his fourth fight? We is he's undefeated. He's stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet. How can you knock that? And he's been B-side 90% of his career. So Get behind him because he's coming. He 
is coming. It's how it's how you manoeuvre kids, isn't it? There's people right that get to fight for world titles, and there's them that don't. There's people who get to fight elite fighters, like Liam Smith, and Rocky Fielding, and there's supposedly elite fighters like Billy Joe Saunders who don't get to fight the Canelos. That's what's wrong with the business. So just sit back and think about that. Liam Smith fought him. So Billy Joe ain't even fought Golovkin, has he? But yet. Yeah, Martin Murray fought Golovkin. He didn't win a world title, Martin Murray. Matthew Macklin fought him. Matthew Macklin, I class as a world champion because he were robbed against Sturm. So when they say world level, he won a world level at that period of time. But he went in with Golovkin, he got destroyed. So did Martin Murray, they got took apart. Billy Joe hadn't fought Golovkin, but these others have. So who's at fault? Who is at fault? How does that work? Am I am I a bad person for wanting answers to things like this? We're being told that Matchroom are going to supply all the best fights for their guys. They can't even get Callum Smith a fight. Is it all the fighters' fault, or is it people behind the scenes? Dillian White, what's going on with him? What's happening with Dillian White? Yeah. He, he was my favourite anyway at one point. What's happened? Fighting a guy who's 42 next year. That's who he's fighting next. But well, they put a low ball offer out to Ruiz, so we all have to buy that, do we? Come on, we can see the narrative a mile off. Can't we? Hey? So that's them people who, who are saying that, you know, I should leave it alone and not say anything. Look, go on to New Age Podfather, on to Martin Theobald's tweet. Somebody sent me a screenshot of it. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Uh, Martin has just said he and he loves boxing. He's got his second license as well. Martin said he hasn't. He do, he's not willing to put the time into boxing because boxing's not putting the not 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 doing the job right, is it? PEDs. Like a broken record, aren't I? The PED carry on. There's going to fight in Saudi. Things like that. It's like the Wild West, isn't it? It's a fight in Saudi where oh, these narratives they keep pushing and it's a great story and the numbers and narratives. It's what's going on. What about the kids on the small old shows? Hey? Think about them kids that are on small old shows and want to get somewhere. And they're taking bad advice it's not happening for them. Them kids are putting the time in. Them kids with two and three defeats so who've got about ten wins. What about them kids, the life, the lifeblood of boxing? What about them when you've got these pe I'll put these little lights on. When we've got these pay-per-view fights for these YouTubers. Oh, he's a YouTuber, he's funny. He's got a YouTube channel. He knows other YouTubers. It's a, it's a community. It's social media, Porky. Social media. It's a community. No, well, well, what about them kids, eh? Them 10 and 3 kids. You know, the 29 year olds who are holding a job down. What about them lads? Who's speaking up for them lads? Eh? Hey, who's speaking up for them? Prince Patel made a good point, didn't he? He made a good point in one of his tweets somebody sent me the other day. Not my cup of tea, but. Don't he do enough numbers to go and match them? I don't know. Is that what we've got to do? Fighters have got to be controversial. Could you imagine Clinton Woods dressed as Batman? Could you imagine him flipping tables over? Could you imagine that with Clinton? Could you imagine? I couldn't imagine that. Is that what it's about? Flipping table. Is that WWE? I don't know. How dare I say anything? How dare we say anything about YouTubers, boxing YouTubers, who oh, is blatantly cheating with the views. Oh my God. Some of the things I've been seeing the last few days. It's amazing what you get to find out if you get right people on board. We're all being lied to, aren't we? Just how it's going to be. What's it going to be like in 10 years? Well, back up 10 years, what were it like? 10 years ago, what was that? Nicky Cook against Ricky Burns. Remember that one, don't we? What, 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 what's happening? What, where are we going with this boxing? Where's it going? Where's it heading? 
where's the end product are we just all going to put up with this or is anybody just going to say do you know what this ain't right this this ain't right yeah there's people getting paid and there's people not getting paid but it's a small little click in it it's a small little club or not? and to get to this little club you've got to go around the houses you've got to go to every after party you've got to be in the click Uh, not keen on it, but uh, yeah, I just, I just wonder. This YouTube thing's bothering me more than pay per view. I mean, I'm hearing all sorts about these famous people whose careers are a bit, a bit of a skid. They're on skid row, basically. They all get the sends out in a fight. I'll have a fight, put some gloves on, we'll have a bit of a laugh. We could make it. We could turn it into. Uh, it's a knockout. I mean, we've had prize fighter. Which I don't know, I don't know what that we're all about, that prize fighter, but I'm trying to put bums on seats, I suppose. It's a bit like that fishing tournament, isn't it, where Barry Earn puts a gold tag on a salmon or a trout, and you've got to, you know, the man who gets that gets the winning prize or something. I don't know. But what I do know is this it's becoming a circus. And Eddie Earn's the ringleader, and well, I'm just going to keep on doing my thing. If people don't like it, lump it. But we have to give him credit, he is the number one world's boxing promoter without a shadow of a doubt. He's got the gift of the gab, hasn't he? He's not only got the gift of the gab, he's got match room behind him, they're massive, aren't they? But what can you do? I mean, somebody said to me yesterday, Porky, what does Eddie Earn have for breakfast? I says he has four shredded wheat every morning. He goes, do you reckon? I'm going to have that. I goes, yeah. He eats free and he puts one on his head. That's what he does. Everybody cracks up at my shredded wheat Eddie Earn joke. Ha <laughs> ha, cringe, cringe. Whoa, what lane are you in, mate? Uh, but it is what it isn't. It is what it isn't. That's what everybody should be saying. It is what it isn't. There's a massive hole up here. You know, I don't like massive hole there. Let me tell you a little story about driving for over an hole. If you crack your alloy, go to the council and get the form. Go and get your quote. Main dealers get us a quote for wheel and tyre and any steering damage. You put that into your local council. Take pictures at hole. Get a receipt off a recovery truck. That's the law, but they're not going to tell you this, are they? Pay all this road tax and you've got holes in holes in uh, road. It's like doing dodgems, isn't it? If you've got a car that's been lowered, you're knackered. Porky wisdom, that's called. So, I think it's going to be a bit of a speedball tonight. Uh, I'm not bad on speedball, I can't skip that. I can do Ring a Ring of Roses. But yeah, I think speedball and doing head movement like Mike Tyson, I think it's going to be that tonight. And uh, then what usually happens is amateurs usually bash me. Yeah. No. It's not worse than getting knocked about. I'm just messing with you. But Josh won it and to Eddie Earn. I wonder what's going to happen there then. I wonder if that's going to end up in court with uh, old fish eyes Frank. Right. Old Bricktop won't like that, will he? He's big Leeds ticket seller. That's just. That shot's fired that, in it? Man down. I don't know what to make of that. Josh won it then, so that's our plan, won it for the French kid and Josh and then to go that way, that's that one gone now isn't it with Eddie, but you never know what's around the corner, you never know what's around the corner, and Josh, way all just keeps winning, but we need to win it, sparring fantastic as well, 
sparring fantastic. He's like a young Barry McGuigan. I'm really impressed. Really impressed. Yeah. You better give Josh Whale credit. He's an uns unsung hero of British boxing. Don't drink, don't smoke, don't party pop. Trains, family man, works with, with kids that are naughty. You know, troubled youths. Pillar at community. Yeah. Former British champion. IBO international champion. He's going places, isn't he? We don't do numbers like them YouTubers from over America or KSI, whoever he is. It's like a James Bond character name, isn't it? KSI. To be honest, I really thought he was just going to be like a wrestling match or something. They actually give him a license. What sort of people are giving them people licenses like that? Oh my God! Well, the British Boxing Board of Control start and the licenses like out like that. And if they do, and somebody gets injured, what will be the consequences? Who will they throw under a bus? When is all this going to stop? When? There's no proof that these people are bringing fans to boxing, none at all. The shows in area are not selling out, the London shows are not selling out. So this mass surge of fans that's going to come and save British boxing on the strength of these YouTube shows, it's all rubbish, isn't it? It's all utter nonsense. It's all utter nonsense. I'm sure it is nonsense. Like I said, nobody's saying a word. Nobody mentions Stubub. But Joe Joyce against Dubois. I applaud fights like that. I applaud fights like that. I'm telling you now. Because to be honest, if Joe Joyce loses, it's a crossroads for him, isn't it? The other kid, he can be rebuilt. That's why it's a good fight. That's why it's a good fight. Yeah. It's a good fight. And I'll tell you another good fight. Billy Joe against Callum and Liam against Kellon undercard at Anfield. That would be a good, they'd be good fights. Wonder if they can get them over at line. Gail Brook will take that. He's come back, and he, for another run. B field take it. He wants to get somewhere near that Canelo money, doesn't he, that he got? They'll get a taste of it. Dominic Kingle and Joe, they want a taste of it as well, because it all gets sanded down, doesn't it? So, that's how it works. It's good business, isn't it, I suppose. But it's a great fight, isn't it? I'll make Liam Smith just favourite. Slight favourite. But they say Kel's in gym and he's turned over a new leaf. So that's good, isn't it? Special mention to uh, I've got to give a special mention to Tyson Fury and Wilder for getting it on in an era where the fights are hard to make, so they need commending. Tyson knows the dangers of getting it off him, doesn't he? And Wilder knows as well the dangers, so they've got to be commended. They've got to be commended because Joshua didn't want that smoke, did he? Tyson Fury's got to be commended. Trust me, when you get punched off somebody, it hurts. So God knows what the Wilder will, looks like. But Tyson Fury's got to be commended and I could start a slight favourite if he gets it. Oh. It's bird's nest soup, innit, if he gets it through a straw. So touch wood that doesn't happen, but it's an hospital job. If, he, if it goes wrong with Wilder punching like that, oh. So Tyson's got to be commended. Go on then. Go on. He's got to be commended for that, I'm afraid. Got to be commended. So I think that's about it really. We've covered that, haven't we? Covered that issue. Uh, on way back I'm gonna talk about game changers in boxing in the last 10 years. So alright. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Shout out to uh, the sponsors, they, they know they are. Alright, peace out.
<laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>